Have you ever wondered why your shopping cart fills up faster during events like Black Friday? It's an intriguing phenomenon, isn't it? It's as if some unseen force compels us to click add to cart more frequently than we usually would. This is the essence of the shopping frenzy phenomenon, a distinctive characteristic of consumerism that takes center stage during events like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and other shopping bonanzas. You see, consumer behavior isn't constant. It ebbs and flows, influenced by a multitude of factors. And when it comes to these high-profile shopping events, the frenzy hits an all-time high. The frenzy is fueled by a sense of urgency, scarcity, and the hunt for the best deal. It's a cocktail of emotions that makes us believe we're in a race against time to snag the best bargains. But it's not just about the thrill of the chase or the satisfaction of scoring a deal. It's also about the convenience of online shopping, where a world of choices is just a click away. Online shopping events like Black Friday have become a cultural phenomenon. They've transformed the way we shop, turning it into a shared experience that transcends borders. We're all part of this global shopping community, united by our quest for the perfect deal. It's a fascinating spectacle, but it's also a powerful tool that businesses wield with precision. Enter online advertising. It's the puppet master pulling the strings, subtly shaping our shopping habits. From personalized ads that pop up on our social media feeds, to email alerts about upcoming sales, online advertising is the invisible hand guiding our mouse clicks. It amplifies the shopping frenzy, turning it into a crescendo that peaks during these shopping events. So it's clear that these shopping events have a significant impact on our buying habits. But how exactly do companies use online advertising to lure us in? Stay tuned, as we delve deeper into the world of online advertising, its power, and its influence on our shopping decisions. It's a journey that's sure to make you see your shopping cart in a whole new light. It's no secret that companies use online advertising to attract customers, but what tactics do they use and how effective are they really? Let's take a closer look at some case studies. Consider the fashion industry. Brands like Zara and H&M have mastered the art of online advertising. They use targeted ads, which are advertisements specifically tailored to an individual's preferences and browsing habits. This means that if you've been eyeing that little black dress, it's likely to pop up in an ad on your social media feed, luring you back to complete the purchase. Next, we have the strategy of flash sales. Tech companies, for instance, often employ this tactic. Picture this. You're scrolling through your feed, and an ad pops up for a limited time sale on the latest smartphone. The clock is ticking, and you feel the urgency to snag that deal before it's gone. That's the power of flash sales. They create a sense of urgency that drives the consumer to act quickly. Now, let's talk about influencer marketing. This is when companies leverage the reach of social media personalities to promote their products. Think of that beauty guru on Instagram raving about a new skincare product. Their followers trust their opinion, making this form of advertising particularly effective. These strategies are not just random shots in the dark. They're backed by extensive research and data analysis. Companies know what works, and they use these tactics to their advantage. But it's not a one-way street. Consumers are not just passive recipients of these ads. They engage with them, share them, and even create user-generated content around the products. This interaction further boosts the reach and effectiveness of online advertising. So, how effective are these strategies? Well, studies show that they significantly increase brand awareness, customer engagement, and most importantly, sales. As we can see, online advertising is a powerful tool in shaping consumer behavior. But what happens when we fall for these tactics? Ever found yourself buying things you don't need just because they're on sale? You're not alone. We're now diving into the fascinating world of the psychology behind online shopping. If you've ever wondered why you click the buy now button when you see a limited time offer, you're about to find out. Online retailers use a variety of tactics to drive us to make impulsive purchases. One of these tactics is creating a sense of urgency. Those countdown timers on a deal, or the pop-up telling you only a few items are left in stock. They're all designed to make you feel like you're about to miss out. This fear of missing out, also known as FOMO, can be a powerful motivator. Scarcity is another tool often used by online retailers. When something is scarce, 
we tend to value it more. This is why you'll often see phrases like, only two left in stock, or sale ends in three hours. These messages make us believe that we need to act now or lose the opportunity forever. Another interesting psychological aspect of online shopping is the paradox of choice. While having a wide range of options can feel liberating, it can also lead to decision paralysis. Retailers often use this to their advantage by highlighting a few best-selling or recommended products, guiding us towards a particular decision. Then there's the anchoring effect. This is when retailers set a high original price next to the sale price. We anchor our perception of the deal to the original price, making the sale price seem like a steal, even if it isn't. Online shopping also provides a sense of anonymity, which can lead us to make purchases we might not in a physical store. The comfort of shopping from our own homes, coupled with the ease of one-click purchases, makes online shopping a psychological playground for retailers. So, the next time you find yourself reaching for that limited offer, remember the tactics at play. But what's the bigger picture here? How does our online shopping frenzy affect the economy and the environment? Let's take a moment to zoom out and comprehend the broader impact of our insatiable appetite for online shopping. At the heart of this issue is the concept of consumerism, a social and economic order that encourages the acquisition of goods and services in ever-increasing amounts. When we click Add to Cart, we're not just purchasing an item. We're contributing to a cycle of demand and supply that shapes our global economy. As we consume more, companies produce more. This overproduction can lead to a robust economy with thriving businesses and job creation. It's a cycle that can result in economic growth and prosperity. However, it's not all roses and rainbows. There's a flip side to this coin. This cycle of overconsumption and overproduction often leads to an immense amount of waste. Every year, billions of items are produced that end up unused or discarded. This waste doesn't just disappear. It clogs up our landfills, pollutes our oceans, and contributes to global warming. Moreover, our relentless demand for more often leads to the exploitation of natural resources. From the water used in manufacturing processes to the deforestation caused by the need for more raw materials, our consumerist lifestyle takes a heavy toll on our planet. Our shopping habits also impact people. The drive for cheaper products and higher profits can lead to poor working conditions and unfair wages for those in the manufacturing industry. The impact of consumerism extends beyond the boundaries of our shopping carts and into the world around us. Every purchase we make is a vote for the kind of world we want to live in. So the next time you're about to click buy now, stop and think. Consider the wider implications of that purchase. Ultimately, our buying decisions have far-reaching consequences beyond our own wallets. We've seen how online advertising can influence us, but how can we make more conscious shopping decisions? Let's dive right into it. When we talk about conscious shopping, we're talking about making informed, deliberate choices. It's about acknowledging the power of our wallets and using it to shape the market in a way that aligns with our values. So how can we do this? First, let's talk about setting a budget. This may seem like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how easy it is to get caught up in the online shopping frenzy and spend more than you intended. By setting a budget, you're putting a limit on your spending power and forcing yourself to think twice before making a purchase. Next, do your homework. Research the products you're interested in, read reviews, compare prices, and make sure you're getting the best deal. Don't be swayed by flashy ads or big promises. Remember, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Another thing to consider is the environmental impact of your purchases. Many products, especially those that are cheaply made, have a significant environmental footprint. By choosing products that are sustainably made, you're not only getting a quality product, but you're also doing your part to protect our planet. Lastly, think about the long-term value of what you're buying. Will you still want this item a year from now? Is it something you really need? Or is it just a fleeting desire fueled by clever marketing? By considering these questions, you can avoid making impulsive purchases and instead invest in items that truly add value to your life. Remember, every purchase is a vote for the kind of world we want to live in. So, choose wisely. Conscious shopping is not about depriving yourself, but about making thoughtful decisions that benefit you, 
the economy, and the planet. It's about recognizing that we have the power to shape the market and using that power responsibly. So next time you're about to click that Buy Now button, take a moment to think. Your choices matter.